Women cheated on me in the past not sure about the present. This is a throwaway account for reasons that will be obvious. I am getting married in a couple days and you could say I am having trouble distinguishing what's real and what's not. I have nowhere else to go to explain my situation. I've loved three women over the course of my life. Except for my fianc. The two women cheated on me. Broke my heart. And betrayed me. I grew up in a medium-sized town. A college town with a population of about 10 to 15,000 people. I should say growing up I never had a strong relationship with my mother and father or my siblings. As soon as I graduated from high school, I moved out and got my own place. I've always wanted to be independent. And I've always wanted to make connections with other people. Maybe because of my family situation being strained. It explains why I wanted a family more than anything else. But only in the last year or so have I been mentally well enough to consider that as a possibility. Backstory. I finished college during the Great Recession. When I finished, I was aimless. Worked two jobs. Everyone told me at the time that if I wanted to have any career, I would need a master's degree. So during the day I put in shifts at a warehouse and did landscaping on the side. And at night, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I worked toward a graduate degree. Through some other students, I met a girl who was much older than me. Let's call her Anna. Anna was a petite, half American, half Thai, who loved classical dance and art history. I was 23 at the time and she was about to turn 30. She liked all the things that I liked. We ran into each other on campus a couple times and would run into each other at bars where we would chat up and occasionally we would smoke weed out in the country and listen to music. I assumed our relationship was just going to be a friendship. I mean, she was gorgeous and I am just an average looking guy. Looking back now it seems naive, but at the time 30 seemed sophisticated somehow. That people at 30 knew the answers to important questions. Over the course of several months, our friendship turned into a romantic relationship. I had always been in love with her and I think I convinced her to be in love with me. Anna had a child. Let's call her Erin. Who five around the time I started dating Anna. Her biological father had abandoned the family and moved away. So her earliest notions of family reminded me of my own. Or you know, I could relate to her. I took it upon myself to be as close to a father as I could be. I wanted a family and I wanted both Anna and Aaron to be a part of that family. And it was kind of a family for about three one two years. I got into routine. Where I went to work came home for lunch. Then would come home from dinner. I play with Aaron and read her books and do the best I could. I guess I was a lot more traditional than I thought I was. I told Anna that it was okay if she stayed home and that I could work my two jobs while I finished school. Sometimes in bed we would plan our futures and the good things that would come. Maybe I am looking back on this nostalgically. But I look back on those years and those memories as years of bliss. Anna and I still drink and smoke and have fun together. Like every couple we had fights and disagreements and we had good. Days and bad days. So like I said in my life was good. And then one day my neighbor Evan who lived across the street and came in and out of our house because we had an open door policy. We kept some joints rolled up in an old cigar box. So it was not unusual for Evan to just come inside and help himself whenever he felt like it. And me and Anna had an open invitation to his place. If we needed alcohol or peanut butter we could just walk over there and grab some. Well, one day I get a text from Evan during my lunch break and he said he was about to open the front door when he saw Anna and one of my closest friends kissing. Evan said they didn't see him. The guy she was kissing was named let's call him John. John was very short and not attractive but he came from a wealthy family and was about to finish his medical degree. He didn't live in town but about two hours away in a much larger city. I don't know if he was lonely or didn't make any friends in the city but he really seemed to enjoy making the occasional trips into town once or twice a month. So I texted John and asked are you driving home this weekend. He responded. I am. But it probably won't be till later this evening. I texted Anna and asked whether she would mind to cook something up for us all to eat that evening and then I said casually. Oh did you know that John's coming in tonight? She acted surprised. Like she didn't know. Now I was about an hour away and it was normal for me not to get home until 7 or 8 in the evening. I told the warehouse supervisor that I had a family emergency and had to leave early. On the trip home I considered that maybe Evan who is not the most reliable or the most sober person I knew could have made an honest mistake. And then I texted. Well is there a car besides Anna's in the driveway? I describe what John's car looked like. 
Evan texted me back actually no. Anna's car is the only one in the driveway. At first, I was worried but as I neared the house I kind of chuckled. Thinking Evan must have been high or just saw something. About 7 miles out I get a call from Evan and he tells me the car make and model that I described was parked on the other side on the street which Evan would have noticed from the angle of his front yard. I texted John and Anna and told them I might run a little late this evening and to start dinner without me if I am not back after dark. John texted me back. Yeah I'll probably be getting in just a little bit before you. Anna texted me back and said that's great I am just cleaning up the place. Evan and I approached from the backside. I opened the door. And. The two of them came running out. Everyone was screaming. I tried to take a swing at John. But I missed. He clocked me and I hit my head against the wall and fell down. Evan chased down John and beat him up pretty good in my driveway. Not long after. The police showed up and they arrested Evan. I felt bad because I didn't have the money then to bail him out so I apologized to him the next day. He told me don't worry about it. It turned out for the last several months John and Anna had been texting and calling each other while I was at work. I guess she thought he was a safer bet in the long term. Financially speaking I mean. We broke up. We both moved away. She moved in with John and I think their whole thing only lasted a couple of months. It probably took me a year to really get over the whole thing. The betrayal. The lying. The deception. Eventually I moved back to my hometown and started seeing a girl. Alex that I known since high school. In reality. I was in love with her much more than she was ever in love with me. We dated for about two years. And lived together for almost one year. Eventually she got an offer for a job in Colorado. She would be making almost double what she was making where we lived. Anyway. Alex ended the relationship saying I don't think our relationship is sustainable with us living so far away from one another. I told her maybe I could get a job out there but she told me not to because she wanted to start over. Now you remember Evan from earlier. The guy who I trusted and thought had been a close friend. Well I learned a lot about him about a year ago. While drinking at a bar I met up with a mutual acquaintance. The guy who used to sell weed to me and Evan. At some point in the conversation that the story about Evan getting arrested came up and we had a good laugh about it. I said something positive. Like man. Evan was such a good guy. He didn't even complain when I told him I couldn't bail him out because I didn't have the money. And the guy gave me a weird look. He said man. I figured you would hate Evan since he screwed both Anna and Alex. Apparently none of my close friends or anyone else had told me that Evan. Had been sleeping with Anna even before John. And the reason he punched John that night and wasn't too upset that I couldn't bail him out was because when Anna and John got together. And I stopped sleeping with Evan. So it had nothing to do with him being a close friend or even liking me. And it turned out when Alex moved to Colorado she continued seeing someone from our hometown and it was Evan. In fact. She had been sleeping with Evan when we were in a relationship. It took me months to integrate all of this information. The only two women that I felt I'd ever loved before my fianc had lied to me and cheated on me. Worse still, everyone around me knew about this except for me. I can't tell you how humiliating and devastating this was to my psyche. So you might be asking what does this have to do with you getting married in a couple days? So cut to today who do I see attending the rehearsal dinner for the wedding? Evan. He came with my fianc's friend from work. It turns out she knows Evan. They all work together at the same bank although my wife and Evan work in different branches about 30 miles apart. Maybe this sounds paranoid but I want to know you guys think. Is it irrational for me to believe that maybe my fianc might have slept with Evan? I know this sounds very delusional. But every serious relationship that I've been in over the last 15 years except for this one Evan has slept with. I don't think he knows that I know about Anna or Alex. Plus he didn't act awkward around me. And in some ways. It was nice to talk to him and I don't really care about things that happened years ago. And even though there is no connection between him and my fianc other than he's dating. Her friend and that they work for the same regional bank. There's a part of me that thinks somehow maybe he will or has slept with my fianc. To be clear. I have no evidence of this. In fact I don't think she would or has. But I guess I've been traumatized by the past and just can't get that possibility out of my mind. As you can imagine I can't tell anybody this secret fear because I know it sounds so ridiculous. Right now. I am telling myself that all of this is just in my head and I am anxious and nervous about the wedding. And also fearful that if Evan slept with my fianc. It would be too much for me to bear. But in the past the world that I believed in collapsed under the weight of its own reality. 
Anyway, a part of this, was just the process of writing and it has been therapeutic to write this out. I just have a lot of issues with love and betrayal that stem from the past. I know this particular situation is not something a lot of people have faced but I am sure there are people who have been cheated on multiple times and maybe they could give me just some insight into whether I am making too much out of coincidences or not. Anyway, thank you for reading and any helpful advice you can give me. Just ask your fiancé and tell her what you feel about this guy. If you hold this insecurity so long it will affect on your relationship with your fiancé so my advice is open up with your fiancé about your feelings and insecurities and ask whether she had any romantic relationship with Evan before you both met. I would be honest with your fiancé about Evan. As he is dating her friend and you may need to associate with them from time to time. You don't have to give her the full story unless she asks but ATLEs tell her you don't particularly like him as he knowingly and continuously slept with both of your exes while being fake friends with you. Also keep an eye out and watch their interactions with each other and if things look off address it right away. Went from not liking Evan to liking him after he beat the shit out of John to completely not liking him at all. That's the way I felt for years. It is very hard to think for years someone is a close friend for it all to have turned out to be something entirely different. You really should confront Evan. Did thinks he got away with it. He better not be invited to the wedding and you better kick him out if he shows up. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.